the Mulligan Novices Hurdle is next in, and this is a two mile five furlong Novice Hurdle. The top one is Captain for David Hooley. Creamfields are on Tamasebi. Faffy Falls for Darren Thompson. Jovial Apparent, Thomas Rogers. Max, Alex Cherry. Shameful Junkie, Craig Allen. Two long Ballard, James Shane was a winner last time out. Karminski Pont for Graham Clutterbuck. Corrigal for Jim Murray, and Rosie for Joshua Sutherland. Called in and away. And. The purple jacketed captain is the first one to show on the near side. Going away towards the first of ten flights of hurdles in this novice hurdle race. And the leader captain has opened up by two and a half to three lengths already. The rest of them in a bit of a clump at the moment. Got towards the back, Rosie and Jovial apparent just about at the back with Karminski Pod. The rest of them are in a line with the exception of Captain who gets over the first flight in the lead. So they're all over the first then and making their way towards the second. And Captain in the purple jacket is the leader with Creamfield on the near side. And next to that one is Corrigal with the black with the red sleeves. You can see they're virtually in a line there, those six as they get to flight number two. And over that one, Fathy Falls was the one who jumped into second place. So it's Captain who's still the leader then. Fathy Falls has gone second in the old Sheikh Mohammed colours. On the near side is Creamfields. Corrigal's next to that one. Whatever on the far side, the grey shameful junkie with too long ballad, the only winner in the field on that one's inside. Then comes the red and black hoops of Rosie, who are down towards the rail. Then Alex Cherry's orange sleeved max is next and the back to a Karminsky pont and the one on the inside in the green with a white v is jovial apparent so that's your field then and captain is the leader by four as they make their way towards the next captain showing the way on four lengths to Faffy Falls and Creamfields. Corrigal are virtually three in a line. The Grey Shameful Junkie is after that one. Rosie and Max are next. And then comes Toulon Ballard. And Rosie and Max isn't that? just like a kid's TV, but Rosie and Jim, wasn't it? I wonder Derek Hinton hasn't got a horse called Rosie and Jim. And Captain's the leader. I think he had Mary Mungo and Mitch a couple of seasons ago. Anyway, we get over to flight number four, and Captain lands in the lead. Clear of Corrigal, who's just about poked his head into second from Creamfields and Fathy Falls, then Rosie and Max with Shameful Junkie, and then Toulon Ballard, and still at the back, Karminski Pont and Jovial Apparent. As they take flight number five, which again, they're all safely over, and they come up past the stand, the almost monstrous looking concrete building with big glass windows. The uh, glass windows look pretty impressive. I'm not quite sure about the concrete pillars and things, but anyway, Captain's the leader. As they pass the winning post with a circuit to go. And Captain leads by three to Rosie and Corrigal. And then Fathy Falls and Creamfields. Max is tucked in behind them with Shameful Junkie the Grey still there on the outside. And two long balancing in quietly behind them. Karminski, Pont and Jovial Apparent are quite happy to trail along at the back with the field in their sights but they're no more than a dozen lengths off the lead and that lead is held by captain as it has been since the flag dropped nothing got near it so far and it's still a good two and a half lengths clear but they're queuing up behind as they get to flight number six but captain's hurdling well in the lead and they're not getting that much closer so captain leads in from Corrigal, Rosie and Creamfields and then Fathy Falls has just dropped back a little bit Max is alongside that one now then Shameful Junkie and Toulon Ballard and a gap of a couple of lengths to the back two Karminski, Pont and Jovial apparently they can have the fourth last and that's the first time the leader's put a foot wrong and he's paid the price for it as well because he's dropped straight back to third really rattled that hurdle and now Corrigal's gone on so Corrigal's gone on then Captain's trying to regain his equilibrium as they come down to the third, gets over that one but jumped it slowly again and Corrigal has now gone on by three. So Corrigal's in the lead, then Creamfields has moved into second, Captain's valiantly trying to fight back on the inside, then Rosie and Fathy falls, Max is still there, Shameful Junkie's looking for a split, too long battle, looks like he's going to try and come up the inside but now switching to the outside, Jockey can't make his mind up which way to go on that one but Corrigal has got the lead and has got the rail. Captain is being driven along in second trying to get back up sides, then comes Creamfields in third, Max is making a forward move again in fourth, Rosie is still there in fifth, now too long Ballard gets a split, shameful junkie after that one, and then Fathy falls, I think we can forget the back two, they're coming down towards the final two fur final two flights and the final three furlongs and it's Corrigal in the lead by about two and a half lengths to Max in second then comes Creamfields and then Rosie and then Captains after that one they get over the second last, and over the second last they go and Corrigal is clear, but shameful junkie's now coming out of the pack to challenge, Rosie's trying to challenge as well, they've got one to jump two furlongs to go, Corrigal going for home 
Coral Corrigal two lengths clear off Shameful Junkie in second Rosie is third Fluffy Falls is trying to run on oh, the leader went right through the top of the flight there and he surrendered the lead to Shameful Junkie and Shameful Junkie takes it up inside the final furlong here's Shameful Junkie being pressed by Creamfields and Rosie but Shameful Junkie looks like he's got enough in hand and Shameful Junkie is going to race up towards the line and hold off Creamfields Shameful Junkie takes it close to a second between Rosie and Creamfields fourth was the Corrigal fifth captain and a field will trail back to Jovial apparent but then you could put forward a good case that both captain and Corrigal threw that race away with bad hurdling at crucial stages in the race and Shameful Junkie was the beneficiary so Shameful Junkie takes it for Craig Allen Rosie for Joshua Sutherland was second Creamfields and Ryan Tanisebi third Corrigal for Jim Murray fourth and captain for David Hooley was fifth